I'm just going to throw it up once again. Look at this. Look at what they're doing this over. And this is coming from a diehard Pokemon fan. Look at this shit. Look at these fucked assholes just circle jerking each other over like $20 worth of shit. Look at this. This is what our fucking hobby is. Every time something happens, money, 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 invest, 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 time, 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 no fun, no fun, no fun. Get your money, fucking fools. Get it. That's all this shit turns into. That's why everybody's there. That is why 90% of those fucks are there. Now you're getting it. Now you're, now you're feeling my wrath. I don't care. I'm not playing your rat shit games. I don't do it for YouTube. I don't do it for the bigger content creators. I don't suck no one's dick on Instagram. I don't fucking put nothing in my mouth. I say whatever the fuck I want. And I ain't playing your bullshit games for these promos. I'm not giving a scalper one goddamn dollar. I did it for the Japanese boxes too. Fucking test me. I didn't buy one single box of Eevee Heroes Japanese. I said fuck you and shoved it right up your asshole. That's what I did. Let's go. <laughs> what's going on brews ladies and gentlemen i apologize for the opossum bud intro a little unrelated however <clears throat> opossum bud and pokey chloe were of course the focus of my last drama video which by the way was only five days ago i try to do a drama video like once a month tops because you can't plan for them i don't want this this channel to be about drama i like covering all kinds of topics all right so, yes, here we are five days later. We got another drama video to talk about in a possum, but I, <laughs> to me, like, what are we, like, a week removed from the Pokey Chloe a possum, but drama, and the man, God bless his heart, he just can't get over it. He can't accept the fact <laughs> that there, unfortunately, is a double standard when it comes to scalping. Not all scalping is exactly the same. You know, a, a product with MR, MSRP, like a backpack of ukulele, trying to conflate it to an exclusive item like a world's promo that people don't have access to to begin with. You know, I think it's flawed logic. And a possum bud, you know, half the community agrees with him, the other half disagree with him. Um, he's focused on the half that disagree with him. And so that's why every single video since the last week, he just genuinely can't get over the fact that some people are okay with scalping and view it as just a normal part of capitalism he'll be fine however this man has been against scalping for years and those of you who think i don't like a possum bud you're dead wrong he's literally my favorite content creator on the internet okay he has absolute fucking gold in his library there are videos from a year ago two years ago that are just so fucking funny all right so all i'm saying is possum bud just get over it man all right so today's video yes i'm going to there have been three, not one, but three videos just in the last 72 hours, literally, about Cool Trainer Ryan and a bunch of really scary bad words you generally do not want to be associated with, from racism, sexism, to all kinds of isms, okay? And not that he is that, just he is turning a blind eye to it, supporting it, yada, yada, yada. And I will get to that at the end of the video, I do have a very special message for Cool Trainer Ryan, but this video is actually more about you guys, the Pokemon content viewers, those of you that make repeated comments, that watch, you know, maybe you watch CTR, you watch Poker Rev, you watch Danny Fanta, maybe you watch a Little Me, a Little Rob Does Pokemon, a Little Poke Office, maybe, you know, a Possum Buddy, you bounce around, okay? This IP, Pokemon TCG, is the biggest IP in the world by far like it's not even close guys 
However, on YouTube, the Pokemon TCG collecting niche is a tiny little close-knit community, if you will. And for a lot of you commenters who comment regularly on a lot of stuff, believe it or not, we remember you. We do. You, the viewer, by commenting over and over and over again, are creating your own version of content that is publicly recorded online in our comment sections, okay? So, here's another thing, guys. A lot of you that do write nasty messages, I think you tend to forget that there is something called comment logs. Something where I can go in, any content creator, anybody can go in, and they can see the comment history of that specific person. So you may be writing something nasty that's totally fine in a vacuum by itself as you're writing it that day, but then someone can click on your name and see all your previous comments, and they can tell a completely different story about you, the viewer, not the creator. Now, speaking of a Boston Bud and Pokey Chloe, my drama video from five or six days ago, you know, it's got three and a half thousand views. It's got over, I think, 240 comments now. I have no idea. I There is hope for you guys. There's a lot of you that leave amazing comments, and we're going to talk about that in a sec. But the fact that not a single person out of the 240 comments in my video called me a pokey Chloe simp, like, thank you guys. I don't know if I just have a more respectful crowd that watches my videos or I just go about addressing things in a more mature, realistic way than someone like, say, rattle a Pokemon. Hey, guys. Okay? But literally, 240 comments in the pokey Chloe uh, Opossum Bud video almost all of them very legitimate takes quality takes contradicting takes but respectful and it was just overall a way cleaner more productive comment section than say rattles video or opossums two videos or shiny nathaniel shiny verts videos okay so there are times of course when you guys behave and you are respectful and that's what we the content creators love to see is engaging conversations that are actually productive that aren't absolute filth and garbage and bullshit okay so over the last 72 hours there's been three cool trainer ryan videos let's see we got uh we got one from what's his name baz toys okay i'll throw that up there's baz toys that's from like two days ago we got another one from Pokemon Overflow, who all he basically does is drama. That's from like three days ago. And then now, like yesterday, literally Nathan, just straight up Nathan. This guy literally created, I think, a YouTube channel just to make videos about how big of a piece of shit CTR is. Okay, so just in the last three days alone, there have been three CTR schmear campaign videos. And all they're doing is presenting like there's no connecting the dots here they're just showing clips of ctr okay for the record this video is not a ctr schmear campaign that would be hilariously ironic if i made a ctr schmear video even my last ctr video from where am i at from a couple months ago ctr is making a ton of enemies boy was i right holy shit even that video was lighthearted, and in that video, I fully claimed to be a hanger, hanger gang member, whatever. Ryan loved the video. It, it wasn't actually a drama video. It was just citing that he is pissing a lot of people off in the community. And, you know, it comes with the territory, I guess, when you're like CTR, okay? But, but these three videos from Pokemon Overflow, Kevin, it was Kevin, right? Nathan, from Nathan, and uh, Baz Toys. These three videos... I haven't checked Nathan's video. It already has 2,000 views. I'm, I'm sure there's people absolutely shitting on him. But in Pokemon Overflow, and especially in Baz Toys, there is some really just stupid fucking comments that are kind of the reason I decided to make this video. Okay. Just because Baz Toys makes a video just displaying things for what they are, same with Pokemon Overflow, literally not even stretching not even reaching just displaying like recorded stuff off his stream and then there's some discord screenshots type stuff too they're not reaching here they are just presenting things for what they are and they're the kind of things that cool trainer ryan can't even deny okay because it's just straight up it is what it is all right but in these comment sections there are people 
let's, let's call him Cool Trainer Ryan Simps, that will go to the ends of the earth to shit on the other smaller content creator, say things like, oh, you're just doing it for the views. You just want views. <laughs> views, 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 views. Guess what? It's not a good idea to make CTR drama videos, okay? You piss CTR off, and you piss off other people. Next thing you know, you're blacklisted, blah, blah, blah. So the fact that these people are even making these videos, I think it proves that they are way more genuine than some of these piece of shit simps are trying to make it seem like, okay? Because it takes balls to make YouTube videos about people like Cool Trainer Ryan. I happen to have two full balls, and that's why I can do it too. Okay, but again, my drama videos, unless it's the Twice Baked Jake run, they're always about people that I love and I want to see them do better. It's coming from a good place. I absolutely <clears throat> love Cool Trainer Ryan, but I want to see him do better. I want to see him change now that he's at 100,000 subs. I want to see him start treating himself and his channel like an actual business rather than just a fun frat boy hangout where who knows if I'll get canceled next week, next month, and get invited to this or that, or who knows, because I don't check shit. I let anyone say whatever the fuck they want. Well, guess what? That's fine if you're a little guy who has nothing to lose. But when you got a big channel with a lot to lose and you have other people that associate with you, it becomes a vastly bigger deal because now you're being selfish and now you're affecting the people that associate with you and take pride in knowing you, okay? So... But again, I'm gonna get back to the CTR stuff at the end because I do have a very special message for CTR that I think is very realistic and it has to do with being canceled. All right, so the viewers though, the people who comment on this Baz Toys Pokemon Overflow and now Nathan or Kevin, whatever it was, um, every, freedom of speech is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about facilitating racism or sexism and being okay with it, okay? The number one thing that I have seen these commenters write on these two things is it's all in, it's all for laughs. It's all for fun. It's no big deal. He's clearly a good guy. At the end of the video, he says, I love you all. Why would he even have Harold and Kumar on if he was racist? Okay, obviously referring to goaded pose on that. So all of that constitutes free speech right it's at least here it's it's america or it's online you know you get free speech okay using that as an excuse or using the fact that it's all in fun and it's just a joke he's a good guy at, at the base of it if you are a dude in his 20s 30s or 40s and you're a white dude and we're talking about this subject i'm sorry it doesn't fucking matter what you think you're a white dude who's laughing at the joke no one cares if you think it's all in fun and, and that means so it should be okay. What matters is the, in my case, because I'm getting blown the fuck up on Instagram about a lot of this shit, the Asian Instagram influencer, Pokemon influencer, her hit, hitting me up and being like, what the fuck is this? Why is he allowing this to go beyond? Why is he facilitating this? I'm Asian. I'm very uncomfortable. Or I'm Indian. I do not like any of this, or I'm not even Indian, and I'm being freaking called an Indian. Like, look, freedom of speech is one thing, but being an absolute fucking jackass online is a completely other thing. And for you to say, hey, hey, not white person, you should be okay with this. You obviously have a shitty life, and you need to know how to take a joke. I'm sorry, that's complete bullshit, okay? When it comes to this, the person who's at the butt of the joke, their opinion matters. Not you, John Doe or Jane Doe, white dude, girl, laughing at the joke, okay? A lot of people are missing that, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a joke and it's all in fun if the people are, that are being targeted are being affected, okay? If you make people uncomfortable, you make people uncomfortable. End of fucking story, okay? So, this niche, like I said, it's a niche, but it's the biggest IP in the world. But you guys, because you watch so many of the same, the same content creators and you bounce between all of them, we, me, Opossum, CTR, anybody, we recognize, we remember your names, believe it or not. We are human beings. We have brains. We see comments. We see names. We remember them. Right here and now, I'm going to give you an example of some people that are regular commentators on not only my channel, but many other Pokemon 
content channels that all of which have incredible takes incredible just comments that are always respectful that are smart individuals and guess what i know all these names and so does everyone else that makes pokemon content in this hobby there's the names okay those are people who know how to comment and make productive comments then there are other people what's this douchebag's name so there's a lot of freaking really stupid fucking people in the baz toys comment section what's this dude's name here okay so there's x underscore o underscore x roku uh okay there's a comment thread and then there's uh what's this dipshit's name rob gambone okay so if your name is rob gambone you are clearly a 30 something year old white dude and you're telling baz toys to chill the fuck out it's not racist it's not anything learn how to take a joke okay there's a perfect example random white dude in buttfuck egypt who's trying to tell the <clears throat> the colored person to chill out it's just a joke i'm sorry Ra rob gambone but you're a fucking idiot for this one and by the way rob gambone and all you other idiots that comment on shit and then you just just newsflash we see all your messages okay there's something called the chat comment history log you develop a reputation it is known okay it is fucking known that you say dumb shit and even if it's not known all someone has to do is click on your fucking face and there's all the dumb shit that is spewed out of your fucking mouth over the last month okay so guys as a pokemon tcg content viewer unlike any other niche on youtube you do develop a pattern you are seen you are recognized by us the content creators you are making your own version of comment and you are making it known what your stances are on a lot of different videos okay like this is not oh maybe someone will see it and they won't and everyone will forget about it the amount of people the amount of shitheads that i have ingrained in my brain that attack me and my videos Here's looking at you, Roto RC34, fucking asshole. Anyway, um, I'm just saying you guys have a lot more influence, a lot more staying power, a lot more like in this niche. You guys are known, okay? It, it is what it is. You are creating your own content, so be mindful that myself and other people can very easily see your pattern and history of comments not just on our respective channels but on other people's channels as well okay so get that through your head just because you're a viewer doesn't mean you don't make an impact and you can't make a complete fucking ass of yourself all righty so there's that so essentially this video again is just for you the viewers to remember especially you that that do have a repeated history of commenting on multiple channels that if you have good takes and, and you're just a good person that will show and we the content creators recognize that hence why i had that list of names that i just showed up earlier but on the flip side the other side of things if all you do is shit on people and then you tell people who are making very very um logical criticisms of others and you're just simping hard and telling the other person to shut the fuck up well i have zero respect for you and i think you're bringing nothing new to the table and i think you have nothing positive whatsoever to bring to this community and probably you should just go the fuck away all right okay so i don't want to go too long i'm probably just going to wrap it up with uh my message for ctr because three videos in three days plus some previous videos about some discord chats i mean even his own mods both of them have been getting into hot water left and right lately like it literally is the the CTR family that is in fucking hot water. This right here and right now is my message for Cool Trainer Ryan. Okay. This is for Ryan, no one else. Ryan, there are thousands upon thousands of people that look up to you. Children, kids, teenagers, adults, fucking grandparents, you name it. A lot of these people who look up to you plan think about how much it would cost Ryan to for a, a normal person with a family with a normal nine-to-five job to facilitate a vacation to card party 
you know, maybe they got to fly all the way across the nation. You only get two weeks of vacation a year. You know, you got to book a, a airplane ticket. You got to book a hotel next to card party when everything's jacked up because everyone else is going to card party. You know, you got kids, you got food. You probably want to buy some cards while you're there. The point is a trip to a place like card party might as well cost as much as going to fucking Disneyland these days. All right. And Disneyland's a complete fucking ripoff. I'm just saying I fucking hate Disneyland now. Pre, Pre-COVID Disneyland is fine. Post-COVID Disneyland is a fucking shit show. All right, so anyway, Ryan, what I'm saying is there are a lot of people that love you and respect you and want so desperately just to meet you one time, shake your hand, and get your autograph, okay? And a lot of those people, we're talking about events like Card Party, you know, they can only do that if, say, they get a chance to meet you at Card Party, which might cost them a lot of freaking money, all right? Now... With these three videos that have come out related to you and your kind of just lack of caring about commenter, you know, whether it be racist or sexist comments, Pat Flynn, Deep Pocket Monster, that there is an entrepreneur of entrepreneurs. That guy is such a fucking entrepreneur that he teaches lowly entrepreneurs how to be a better entrepreneur, okay? We all know this. Pat Flynn, Deep Pocket Monster, is the fucking man. He truly is absolutely 100%. And part of the reason he's the man is because he's got very good business sense. He knows what he's doing, okay? And so what I'm telling you is, and this goes back to being selfish, being so careless about your channel that you're literally being selfish to others who associate with you. For a guy like him, and I guarantee you he is hearing it left and right. If I'm hearing it, if I'm getting blown up on my IG, about this obviously deep pocket monster pat flynn is too okay so all i'm trying to say is the people who want to meet you the people who spend thousands of dollars to go to card party it is highly realistic highly probable almost logical that they might not ever get a chance to meet you at a collecticon or a card party or whatever ever again why is that pat flynn smart dude when it comes to business decisions he makes fantastic ones putting him deep pocket monster in a position where he has to one make the easiest decision of his life but two at the same time one of the most difficult phone calls or messages ever if this shit doesn't stop if more and more and more random videos keep just appearing like wildfire about CTR being a racist or or just facilitating that kind of shit. The easiest decision he'll have to make from a business standpoint is not allowing you to go to a card party anymore, okay? That would be a very easy decision. That would almost be a smart decision at this point for him. It would kill him on the inside to have to tell you that, of course, but smart, successful people don't allow bullshit to bring them down you are a smart successful person who has now achieved a certain level of popularity where you need to start acting like those other smart successful people and if not you are jeopardizing your invites to scenarios where the people who truly care about you truly love you would love to meet you so what i'm saying is man maybe don't do it for yourself But for the Pat Flynn's of the world, for all the other people, Pokemon Radar, that guy, I'm just going to tell you, man. Two weeks ago, I was with Pokemon Radar, and I was with PK, Pokemon Card Knowledge. We were talking about you. Pokemon Radar genuinely told me and PK that he just straight up doesn't want to be seen in public with you anymore. That's how bad it's getting, okay? And that's one of your homies. So from one of your homies to Pat Flynn, to all the the minorities on Instagram, whether they be Instagram influencers or other YouTubers who have been messaging, for all of their sake, dude, please find a way to clean this shit up. Do not completely ignore all this and jeopardize your future invites to scenarios where the people who love you and care about you want to meet you. All right? So again, that's all I got. This is not a CTR schmear campaign. This is a man, I love you, but you're making it really awkward for those of us that do like to have some form of professionalism. 
I say that wearing this shit. All I'm saying is, man, if if five more videos come out over the next five days, I'm not going to be in your fucking chat anymore. Like, a possum bud already gave up on you a couple weeks ago. So look, clean your shit up, do it for the kids, do it for Pat Flynn, and stop letting this bullshit happen, please. And for the rest of you, please remember, yes, you are just a viewer, but you absolutely have the ability to develop a reputation for better or worse, here in the Pokemon TCG niche on YouTube. All right, that's all I got, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces. Fusion Strike!